honestly, I never thought I'd have to make a video like this. And uh, but after this weekend, essentially, I hope it opened a lot of people's eyes. If your eyes weren't already open. I don't know how the saying goes, but essentially I uh, I, I really wanted to make this video because this card and this like, mist okay, I'm just gonna be gonna cut to the chase. Mystic Mind is just dumb. Like this card is dumb. And I, I hate to say it because I, I do play competitively. I understand the, you know, all the things surrounding Mystic Mind and the simplicity of, you know, if Mystic Mind is relevant, uh, and you know it's relevant, especially if you're going to these YCSs or these big events, then you should prepare for it. Whether you have the Brave package in your deck, whether you main deck back row hate, etc, etc. But uh, I, I think that logic has uh, a lot of good reasoning behind it, but I also think it's really flawed because to build a deck or, or the way you're building your main deck for a singular card, in my opinion, is, is just toxic. Essentially, the thing is with Mystic Mind, it's like, okay, so let's say you're going to YCS. This last weekend was Brazil, which I'll, I'll talk about all the YCSs and, and I'll go a little bit more in depth in a bit. But essentially, this last weekend was Brazil. And, uh, you know, Mystic Mind had just topped the NA Nationals. It has uh, it just, I think, uh, I know Altergeist was playing it in the EU Nationals as well. And they came top four. Uh, Sword Soul won with it in the NA Nationals. YCS Hartford, I believe, was Striker with Mystic Mind, Demise of the Land stuff. So anyways, Mystic Mind has just won everything for the last three events. So the last three, four, five events, something like that, it's either won, it's been in the finals, or it's been in the top four at least. Um, and and that's, that's the crazy part about this card. And so, okay, let's say you're going to Brazil now, right? The YCS, or YCS Niagara is coming up. Hopefully we get a ban list before YCS Niagara, but let's say we don't, right? And you know, you're expecting Mystic Mind. You know people are gonna be on Mystic Mind, but a lot of decks aren't necessarily Mystic Mind Burn. Now, YCS Brazil was Mystic Mind Burn, and congratulations, I'm not gonna take anything away from him, from the player itself, uh, because, you know, he thought that was the best way to play the deck. And honestly, when you are playing competitively, you really have to look around and be like, what is the best thing that gives me the highest chance of winning? So I'm not gonna take anything away from him because he fully deserves it obviously even though you're playing mystic mind burn and it seems toxic and it seems degenerate at the end of the day you have to play it correctly at the end of the day you know he still got to where he is so no disrespect to the player or anyone playing mystic mind okay i don't, I don't want to make this video and be like yo you guys don't deserve it or it takes away from you know their success just don't think of it that way but um the reason i want to make this video is because like we've seen it in in mystic mind burn which is i guess what it, the most trolly version of the deck is but the thing is like any nationals was sword soul with main deck three mystic mind and um striker i guess had three mystic mind in the main deck but it also had demise of the land uh same thing with altergeist altergeist wasn't even altergeist literally it was just mystic mind that won that like turn I got, okay again i don't want to take away from the player but at the same time like i watched the feature matches and i'm like wow like you can't do anything but activate mystic mind and that's the reason you win and and that's just stupid to me right and so this all circles back to the logic of play main deck outs play the brave engine because you can draco back it away or play cyclones in the main deck or feather dust or storm or whatever it is right and and i'm thinking i'm like thinking to myself i'm like that's not a good logic because if i go against your average sprite player what is my back row hate doing against them it, it's not doing anything right and it's like if i'm going even against the average like, tier element player like tier elements are not going to be playing a lot of back row they have their trap card i forget sleek i forget the name or whatever select whatever it is but like you know i'm not going to be main decking back row hate for all these meta decks so the, the logic of you know mystic mind is going to be prominent so you have to play main back row hate or you have to play like main deck back row hate whatever it is or in the side everyone's going to be like the thing is the, the logic here doesn't make sense because everyone's going to be siding it, right? You have to be siding back right? That's not a question. Not even just for Mystic Mind, for just a bunch of other decks like Eldritch, all those Floodgate kind of decks. You have to be side decking back right? I, I don't think that that's like a question, but it's just more so the main deck stuff where people are like, yo, have your main deck prepared. And it's like, the way you look at it, and, and uh, for anyone who doesn't play super competitively, it's like, there's two different ways to build your deck, right? There's ways to build your deck for the room, and there's ways to build your deck for the top cut. So uh, what I mean by that is sometimes you can build your deck to play for the room. So you will, you know, go through your X amount of rounds. Let's say it's a regional, right? Let's say it's eight rounds. You go through your eight rounds and you built your deck to be everything. And the reason for that is because when you're playing in a regional or even at a YCS level, your first few rounds are going to be really random stuff. It's it's usually when you get into the later rounds where you start facing like the more meta stuff, because at that point, people who are XO or X1 or X2, at, at, like in round eight, round nine, whatever it is, those people are playing meta decks. So before that though, you're going to be seeing a lot of random stuff. So a lot of people like to build their deck for the room. And that's very reasonable because if you don't build your deck for the room, then you lose to death spots in round two. And you're like, wow, I just lost a death spot. I'm playing the best deck of the format, whatever it is, whatever format it is, I'm playing the best deck of the format and I lost a death spot because I don't have anything for a death spot, right? So there's building deck for the room, but there's also building the deck for the top cut. And when you build the deck for the top cut, 
you know who's going to be in the top guy. You know the top guy, and let's say in this format, is going to be Sprite, Tier Limits, and something with Mystic Mind. Because Mystic Mind is just so prominent, and it just apparently wins everything. Like, the thing is that there's no argument anymore. Because YCS Hartford at one. Uh, the finalist in YCS Hartford, James Kim, who's actually from Toronto as well, uh, was playing Despia with Mystic Mind. Um, top 16 at Nationals, my good friend Deep came uh, ninth, I think, overall, but top 16, whatever. And he was playing Mystic Mind and Despia. Sword Soul just won the NA Nationals with Mystic Mind. Altergeist was in top four. Like, and the thing is, I'm literally talking about Altergeist. Forget meta decks, I'm talking about Altergeist came top four at a YCS, or not even a YCS, sorry, at a Nationals, at European Nationals because of Mystic Mind. Like, the thing is, it's just taking everything, it's taking over the format and it's just so toxic. So I just think the whole logic behind, you know, having a main deck ready for it is like, okay, let's say you build your deck for the top cut, but you don't make the top cut because now your deck is built to beat Mystic Mind and all this meta stuff, but you know, rounds one, two, and three, you don't see meta decks. And then you're like, what am I supposed to do here, right? Now, in theory, some of the best decks, it doesn't matter, right? If, if you're playing, you know, like, let's say Sprite is you think is the best deck in the format, or Tier Limits, it doesn't matter what the deck is. This is, I'm talking about in general, like any format, but let's just say, like, you believe you are playing the best deck in the room. Like, you are playing the best engines, the best whatever it is. Then, at that point, you can build your deck for the top cut because you feel like your main deck, even with the other stuff that's not relevant, can still beat out these decks. So, there's different ways to look at it and there's different ways to play around it, but basically, the whole thing I'm trying to say is like, this card is just obscenely toxic at this point. So, I heard a lot, I heard the argument, I should say, actually. I heard the argument before, I think it was one of my banless predictions, it was my most recent banless prediction video, where I talked about Missing Mind just needs to go, right? And, and I hate to say this, and again, I don't want to call out specific people or players, but it's just a logic, and I think it's a logic that a lot of people, like, are um, not misunderstanding, but it's just a logic that maybe is, like, falsely given to you guys. So, what I mean by that is, I'm just going to explain it and make more sense. Pretty much, I, I saw a lot of comments saying that Mystic Mind keeps combo decks in check. If I'm a casual player and I can't afford Forbidden Droplets, I'll just play Mystic Mind. You know, Mystic Mind's a budget version of this or that, or... I'm going to be honest with you. Konami doesn't care about the casual mindset. And and the, what I mean by that is, realistically, there's no card game ever, not just Yu-Gi-Oh, any card game or any game in general if there isn't a meta. Metas need to exist. And they need to, you know, base the ban list and what they do with the game around or surrounding the meta, I should say. Because essentially, if they don't do that and they just appeal to casuals, the meta game is gonna fall, and if the meta if there's no meta game, there's no Yu-Gi-Oh in general because people are gonna stop attending events, people are gonna stop spending their money because no one wants to play casual decks, right? Like, or at a high tier competitive level, you're gonna miss all those people and no one's gonna be playing casual stuff. So I hate to say it for anyone who's playing a casual, like, or who's a casual player, I should say. If you think of it like Mystic Mind is healthy because my digital bugs need Mystic Mind to compete against the meta, okay, bro, you're playing digital bugs. Like, that's on you. That's that's not, doesn't that doesn't make Mystic Mind a fair card or not like a, a fun card or a good card, right? That's, that's not how it works. Or a healthy card, I should say. It's a good card. It's not a healthy card. That's what I should say. Yeah, so again, I don't mean to bring hate or, 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 or like... If you're watching this video and you play like a very roguish strategy and you play Mystic Mind to beat combo decks or beat the meta, listen, I'm not trying to talk smack about you or I'm not trying to say that like, you know, you're not, you don't deserve to play... I, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not trying to talk to you specifically. I'm just talking about in a general from a Konami, from a business standpoint. And Konami doesn't care. Truthfully, Konami doesn't care about that. Konami cares about the metagame, where the metagame is going. And uh, so for that reason, for that reason, I, I should bring back to the whole point where I think Mystic Mind should be banned. I mean, by the time you've watched this video, I think we're like eight or nine minutes in, whatever it is, uh, you guys can kind of tell that like, the whole point of this video is Mystic Mind needs to go. Uh, there's no reason this card should be around. And no matter what logic you use, whether it's you should main deck outs or Mystic Mind is healthy because it stops combo decks, whatever that logic is, I, I just don't think it makes sense. Like if, if, you, if you look at it overall, right? Not as a singular card, as an overall thing based off of the tops, based off of results, based off of just the most random obscure things happening. I mean, bro, Mystic Mind just won YCS. Like Mystic Mind Burn just won a YCS. Why? How? Because no one could out it. Now, again, the logic of main deck stuff for it you don't think people in the top cut were main decking for Mystic Mind hate or or ready for Mystic Mind? They were. You don't make top 32 or top 8 or top 16 or whatever of a YCS or a Nationals and not be prepared for that. You are prepared, but it doesn't matter how prepared you are. Because when you have Demise of the Land, 3 Mystic Mind, Terraforming, and so many other ways, Metaverse, and so many other ways to get to Mystic Mind, I have like 9, 10, whatever cards to get to Mystic Mind, and you have like 3 back row hate main deck. And even if you get rid of my first Mystic Mind, who's, who's saying I'm not gonna drop a second one? So that's what I mean, right? So what are you gonna do? Play 
six back row hate cards. You're gonna play three Cyclones, Harpies, two Twin Twisters. You're not gonna do that in your main deck. That's just not feasible in, in, a, in a meta game. So again, that, that's the whole point that like, I was trying to make with like, oh, just main deck your outs. Or a lot of decks can't have searchable back row hate, by the way. Like the Brave Engine has Draco back that can kind of search it. But what other decks, meta decks, let's say, like decks that can actually compete in today's format have searchable back row hate or searchable outs to Mystic Mind. Now you can argue you're gonna side it. Everyone's siding it already though. Like everyone's already siding back row hate. So it's not like, it's not like this is a new thing that's just coming up. So that's just what I wanted to bring up. It's, I just really feel like this card has been around for way too long. It keeps popping up. Uh, I remember someone even trying to argue with me that like, oh, Mystic Mind's not good this format or Mystic Mind is one of those cards that's good into some formats and bad into other formats. That's been honestly proven already. I'm not even gonna say anything about that because it's been proven wrong. Like we've seen already time and time again, doesn't matter what format it is, Mystic Mind will somehow make its way into the top deck or, or any deck. Like literally, bro, when's the last time you saw Sword Soul play three Mystic Mind and three Rivalry in the main deck? No, but Nene Nationals, the winner did it. Shout out him, by the way. If you're playing Sword Soul and you want a Nationals, I, I, I love Sword Soul, so shout out you. But I'm just saying, what, Hansel, I think his name was? I think his name was Hansel. I might be wrong though. I, I don't know, man. I don't know how to say it anymore. I just, I just one of those things where it's like, how are you gonna like sit here and try to tell me or try to convince people that Mystic Mind is healthy or good for the game or should be at three? when this just keeps happening like these are not just regionals by the way so lord knows how many regionals this is one because people are not even covering those we're talking about ycs's and nationals these are premier events these are like the top events of, of north america and europe like this is like the top of the top the best of the best and we're just seeing the same thing over again it just how many decks like, it's, it's literally just can you put mystic deck in your main deck yes no yes you're topping the event you're getting somewhere no good luck because a lot of the, t I haven't seen every single top cut deck yet list yet. So don't get me wrong. Obviously you can still top events without Mystic Mind. That's not what I mean. But what I mean is like, when you look at the winners, the semi-finalists, the quarter finalists, those kind of people, all main decking Mystic Mind. And not a lot of decks have outs to it. So I it just overall, I think this card is just really toxic for the game. I just don't think it should exist. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I just wanted to talk a little, a little bit about it because I feel like it's just come to the point now where like, there's no argument. Like what is the argument for Mystic Mind to be around. If you guys wanna watch the full ban list prediction, by the way, I did a video on that like a couple weeks ago. Um, hopefully, when you guys are seeing this, the ban list, cause this is gonna be Tuesday's video, ban list might actually drop like later in the day on Tuesday, that's what I think. So I may be doing a ban list reaction video and hopefully in that reaction video, we'll see Mystic Mind gone or Mystic Mind to one. You know, like if they do something where it's like Mystic Mind to one, that's feasible as well, I guess. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but I mean, I feel like everyone's just gonna like agree with me at this point, to be honest with you. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm not even gonna tell you to like and subscribe because this was just a video talking about, you know, Mystic Mind and how toxic this card is. But again, share your thoughts. I wanna hear what you guys think. And uh, yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko, signing out. Peace. Get up, get up.